Hello fellow haunters, this is Jared Lantern, and I'm here with a, another haunt build video. Um, just wanted to show you what the layout looks like for our queue line this year. Uh, we kind of went a little more professional um, out in the front, and this is the line that they'll be standing in. Um, so as you can see, the lanes are pretty wide, um, so we'll just have you know people gathered up as uh, best as possible. Uh, we had to make room for the archway, the pumpkin archway this year. Um, and my uh, parents actually donated and also uh, my dad built the little walkway here uh, but the green netting which is like the fencing type of stuff with these um, plastic step in poles and it's uh, much better than what we did last year we just used like um, rebar and PVC and like a wood stake mixture with um, uh some caution tape so this is going to be a lot better a lot more substantial a lot more sturdy um so right here is basically where the, they'll come up through here from the sidewalk um they'll kind of make a maze around everywhere um and then this will be the entrance right here and uh as the the way back into there you see that uh last piece of fencing in front of that jeep uh, that will be, uh, the opposite side is the exit. Um, so then they will walk up there to our main entrance with our sign, Dowdy Street Nightmare. You can see uh, Scorch Scarecrow, he'll be uh, on tonight. We open tonight. Um, Scorch Scarecrow will be on. And so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what it looks like inside the porch. So after walking up the porch, they will come here. This is the door, the entrance to the haunt itself. Um, and over here at the opposite side, we have like this little photo op area. Um, I'm using just a mannequin with a Wing Reaper costume on it. I think it looks pretty cool back there. Uh, we will have like a welcome sign mounted above him. Um, and then right here, we have the uh, disappearing ghost figure from uh, Grandin Road. And then we have like a chair where somebody can sit. And so yeah, like a little photo opportunity for them before they uh, go in away. There should be like maybe between six to eight people waiting up here at a time. Um, and they'll just, you know, they can have fun with the photo op area uh, before they enter. Once they get up to the porch, it's probably about like a 10 minute wait. Um, waiting in the line down uh, where we just came from can typically be about a good hour, hour and a half wait. So, I mean, it's a pretty, depending on, you know, how many people are here, of course, um, it could be a pretty long wait. But so just to give something for them to uh, to look at and to have fun with. And this is the um, haunted mirror from uh, also from Grandin Road. This is like a Grandin Road porch up here right now. Um, and she will be mounted uh, right there where that trick or treat sign is. Um, so not much over here. This is more just like the gathering area. Uh, people that have backpacks or anything like that be dropped off here. And um, so yeah, that's pretty much the entrance. Like I said, they'll enter right here through the front door and take a quick, quick peek inside of what it's like in there. Uh, of course, I'll do a uh, full haunted uh, walkthrough both daytime and nighttime very soon. But for the meantime, I just want to show you the queue line and the porch and that's about it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, keep it creepy.